Good morning from Leticia, Colombia. Today we take our three day journey down the Amazon River on a boat. I'm here with my two fellow backpacker friends that we met up in Cartagena. We have Hannah and Fabian. Together we are going to travel from here in Leticia to, what is it, Iquitos yeah. in Peru. I think we're gonna get the boat tickets from Santa Maria in Peru and our immigration stamp to get into Peru. We need to get our stamp to leave Colombia. Most important, some Doritos. <laughs> 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 Where are you from, Fabian? Uh, I'm from Switzerland. He's from Switzerland, yeah. and they apparently don't have Doritos in Switzerland, which no, is, is no. shocking. Why should we? One thing that I did not mention is that we need hammocks or hammocks to sleep on the boat. I think it's going to cost us around six dollars each, so not too bad. One other thing is a mosquito net, like this one up here. I did not get pink though, I got green. Yeah. The only thing we have left to do is get our tickets for the boat, so we're gonna do that now. We had the option of hanging our hammocks down here on the second or the first floor, but we decided against that, and I'm really glad that we did because it's a lot brighter and a lot more airflow upstairs on the top floor. We are here at a town called Chimboat, C-H-I-M-B-O-T-E. We've been sailing for about 14 hours now. This place right now that we're in is Peru. There's literally thousands and thousands of miles of the Amazon around us right now. We are at our third stop on this boat trip. There is no name for this location on Google Maps. I think Hannah is asking how many people live here. I think there are about 200 people here. So it seems like the boat that we're on not only transports passengers from point A to point B, but they also stop at these towns that we're in right here. And they have these bags of, I think these are barley or hay or something. They either like bring stuff onto the ship or take stuff off of the ship. I guess that's how these remote towns along the Amazon River get their imports and get out their exports. This is our fourth stop and it's the most remote stop yet. There is literally nothing here except for like a couple pieces of wood. I guess we're picking up those pieces of plywood. Day one, stop number five, we are in a place called San Pablo. San Pablo! <laughs> As is tradition, we're gonna get off the boat and check out what this little town has to offer. It's really surprising here to find this two-lane divided highway. Well, not really a highway, just a divided road. And actually, uh, oh god, they're doing the boat. <laughs> and this small athletic field right here. Goodbye, San Pablo. Remember that wood from earlier? Well, it looks like we're picking up some more. Stop number six. Stop number seven, San Isidro. I'm probably saying that wrong, but anyway, they're dropping the wood off here. And something else fun that happened is the fact that we picked up a live animal. We got a pig on board here. Good morning and welcome to day 
two of this trip down the Amazon. We are at a place called Chichita. Since last night we stopped a couple more times. It looks like we got some more cows down there, some empty bottles, lots of fresh fruit like bananas in those large, large bins. But yeah, we got a long day ahead of us. Here we go. Almost forgot to show you guys one of the most important parts of this trip and that is the hammock that I'm sleeping on. And I guess the only problem with it is just like how close you are to like the people next to you. Last night, a whole bunch of people came on the boat. Got pretty crowded up here on the third floor. The noise is all right. I usually sleep with headphones or earplugs in. I have a eye mask, so that's not too bad either. And then the best part, I guess, is the view. So let's check that out. It doesn't look that good right now just because we're docked on the opposite side. But that's okay because we are well on our way. I think we'll either arrive late tonight or early tomorrow morning at our destination in Iquitos. Welcome to stop 15, 16, maybe 17. This place is called Pebus or Pebus or Ibus. officially been on the boat for 40 hours now. It is day two noon and some people are saying we'll get in around 11 o'clock tonight. Some people will say we get in at like 6 or 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is approximately where we are right now. I'd say 150 kilometers or so to go until we get finally to our destination which is Iquitos, Peru. We stopped at Oren here to pick up a tuk-tuk and it seems like we are 97.5 kilometers away from Iquitos. <laughs> So you guys are probably wondering what we do here on the boat for three days straight and well we got Fabian and Hannah here who are doing their daily hey. Spanish lesson yeah, the coffee. and the coffee, coffee in Spanish. Hola. And then uh, for me I've just been listening to a lot of audiobooks, podcasts and some music here and there. Check out the last sunset on the Amazon River from the upper, upper deck. So it was a little bit over 50 hours ago that we left Leticia in Colombia. Actually, it was in Peru, but right across the border from Colombia. And we just made it to Iquitos, Peru. 